Thanks for staying with us in Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Times segment tonight. The Family Policy Institute of Washington State asked some students at Seattle University about gender. Is there a difference in your mind between men and women? Um, no, yes. I mean, um, possibly. In general, yes. But I don't know why I think that. Socially, currently, yes, there is. There is no need for that difference to exist, uh, scientifically and logically. If you think that you're a male, if you think that you're a female, that matters more than the biological difference. There's not much difference besides what society forces onto people. I don't think there's any one way to really distinguish between a man or a woman, and I don't think it's necessary. Again, that was a legitimate survey, not Waters World. <laughs> Joining us from Santa Barbara, the sage of Southern California, Dennis Miller. You know, things are different since we attended college, eh, Miller? <laughs> I couldn't see anything else but the difference in college <laughs> no, for me too. four years. <laughs> These kids can't see the forest for the lack of a tree, for God's sake. What are they, kidding me? You know what I see in that video, Billy? I see fear. Honest to God, people will say, oh, they're stupid. They're not stupid. Kids aren't stupid. Uh, are they brainwashed a little? Yeah, sure they are. But mostly I see fear. If you say anything at a college campus now, you're going to be ostracized. They can't even listen to smoking in the boys' room by Brownsville Station. It's got to be smoking in the trans room. Nobody can do anything <laughs> over there. But it is what I think is happening, and I think that's a pretty good analysis, is that they're scared. All right, they don't want to say anything politically correct. They don't want to say, you know what? There is a pretty big difference between men and women. There's a difference you in the way. You hope it's a big difference. You hope it's a big difference. Well, in, in, look, the difference is in the yeah. way they dress, the way it? they conduct themselves in the marketplace. Men are usually savages, <laughs> where women are kind and gentle. Um, <laughs> We're going to have to bleep that, Miller. We're gonna, we just bleep Miller. He said an anatomical word, but we bleeped it. But what I'm trying to get at here is you're right, they're afraid, and you're right, they're not all as dumb as they look. But they really believe that equality means there shouldn't be any difference in gender. That's what it should be, Miller. That's what the rainbow pot is. Well, listen, uh, maybe I'm not smart enough to follow all this, but I remember when I was in high school. And if you're going to give high school guys, and I remember three or four lunatics in my high school, a reason to show up at school one day and say they feel like women that day and they want to go into the girls' locker room, I can't exactly express specifically what's going to happen, but it ain't going to be pretty. It ain't well, going to be pretty. Here's my solution to this whole problem, that President Obama, the Supreme Court, and Congress should all gather in the nation's capital and be shown the movie Animal House. All right? They should all have to watch the movie with uh, your pal John Belushi. And then afterward, we'll have a big discussion because there are differences between men and women and, and people on both sides. There can be extremes. But extreme. just between me and you, Billy, because yeah. we're friends. Yeah. I, I and can't nobody say else the is word. listening I, to this. Right, I, go I ahead. Can't, but I can't say the word. I get that. But you know what the big difference is between men and women, right? I mean, we're, we're, we're playing this game. You yes. know there's a big Men are usually difference. better at chess. All right, there you go. Okay. There you go. Now, when we last left Miller, we were talking about President Obama making the bison the national animal. All right? And then we got in a debate about buffalo versus bison. Have you figured that out yet? Um, well, I did read this week that bison and buffalo can now use the same bathroom. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That settles it. Oh, so, so there's your funny bone. <laughs> that, that ranks with the M&M &M line. Um, all right. Now, Billy, Buffalo is not this, indigenous to America. Indigenous word of the day. Buffalo oh. shows up in Africa and in some Asian countries. All right. There A you bison go. is native to America. They, they're cousins. Good well, line, Miller. Did you just well, think that up or did you write that? 
just started up. Now that we figured that out, can we talk about the elk and the moose? And next week on <laughs> Mysteries of the Mindless Mammals, the Pelosi versus the Wasserman Schultz. I'm uh, looking forward to that, man. Miller, thank you. One footnote, the D-man and I like to thank everyone in Reno, Atlanta. The Who Wants to Be President shows there almost sold out. Mohegan Sun, Connecticut evening show sold out. Matinee at 3 p.m. on June 18th does have some seats. Also shows in Denver and Biloxi, Mississippi, selling fast. Info on BillOReilly.com. Tickets make tremendous gifts for dad and granddad on Father's Day.